morning, Riverhogs. I'm Micah, and this is the Riverhog News for Friday, November 19th, 2021. As we end November 2021, we want to again say thank you to all who have served in the armed forces. Our SJTV reporters, Alexa and Erica, were able to talk to Mr. Cortland about his time in the service. Let's play the video. I was in uh, the United States Navy. My job in the Navy was, uh, they call it a damage controlman, a DC man. But what that means was that I was a firefighter. So I fought fires on the ship. I also was uh, responsible for um, uh, chemo chemical warfare suits and also equipment like Sometimes that. I do. Sometimes I do. Um, I miss, you know, the, the, the friendships that I had, uh, the different countries I went to. I went to um, uh, the Middle East. I went to Australia. I went to Japan. Um, I was in Hawaii for a while, went to Washington here in the States for a while. I, my, my, um, uh, where I was stationed was in San Diego, though. But we, uh, I, I miss kind of sailing around, around the world. I, I felt that me serving uh, my country would be the best way I can, you know, help protect it, defend it and to um, help others, you know, help others who, who can't help themselves. So that's why I went into the military I, at the age of 23, tw I was 23. I'm, I'm old now, <laughs> but I'm old now. <laughs> Sock drive update. We are still collecting socks for people in need. Riverhawks rock with 830 pairs of socks collected so far. We have a new class leader. Miss Amix Hawk Time class with 136 pairs of socks. Miss Jasso in second with 130 pairs. Keep up the good work, Riverhawks. Are you decorating your shoe? We can't wait to see what you come up with. Turn in a completed shoe to Miss Fuller's office. You have until December 1st to turn in your work of art shoe. If you need an ID card, our librarian, Miss Harvey, can print one out for you. If you've never had one, your first one's free. If you lost yours, it will cost $5 to replace it. So for the love of God, do not lose it again. Are you interested in playing indoor soccer here at Jackman? Abby and Jaden talked to Mr. De La Cruz to get the information on how to get involved. Play the video. Greetings, Jackman family. This is Mr. Dela Cruz here um, from the uh, Jackman Futsal Club. We have a great opportunity for both seventh and eighth grade to sign up for this year's intramural league that will happen on Fridays after school in our very own gym. Um, this week, please come by room C1 and sign up your team. You only need a minimum of eight players to a maximum of 10 players per team. So each and every Friday, for the month of December, we'll have this tournament going on. Don't miss out. Again, come see me this week in room C1 during your lunches, both seventh and eighth grade, to sign up your team so you can compete. See you soon. Wrestling season has now started. See Mr. Jinx if you would like to be part of the Jackman wrestling team. Safe Club will have their first meeting on Friday, December 3rd at 2.45 p.m. If you would like to be a part of the Safe Club, come check it out in room L14. This concludes the Riverhawk News. Have a great week off, and remember to be responsible, be respectful, and make good choices. Owning it. Owning it. Owning it. Owning it. With purpose. 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 With purpose.